Joining me right now on Indiana in the Morning, presented by First Commonwealth Bank, is Susan Berg, a multi-talented graphic designer and producer. So, Susan, thanks very much for joining us here on Indiana in the Morning. Uh, obviously, we're talking to you outside of Indiana. Where are you at right now? I'm currently working on a film in Atlanta, Georgia. Oh, can you tell us what film that is? I cannot. Oh, man. I cannot. I can't. Um but it's really super. Okay. That's yeah. a, that, that, <laughs> I, can, I can tell you that. <laughs> okay. That's excellent. Well, the reason why I went in with that uh, little bit of a gambit is because of the fact that you've got 60 feature films to your credit as a graphic designer, ranging from the Marvel Universe to the Fast and the Furious franchise. You've been working on actually a lot of franchises from what I've been seeing. Yes, the the way that we work is not, uh, we don't work with the same people all the time. So it's pretty much availability. Each film, when you, when you finish, you're available. So if someone calls, hey, are you available to work on this? You, you are or you aren't. So that could be uh, Django Unchained, which is 1860s. Or it could be something futuristic, such as you know, the Avengers or Guardians of the Galaxy, which isn't even on this planet. Mm-hmm. What is the what talk about how IEP kind of set you up for this success? Sure. IEP really gave me the base that I needed for my career and, and really my life because and I say that because I could have gone to any school, um, any art school. I, I grew up in Pennsylvania and um, I was thinking about car, going to Carnegie and living at home and my parents wanted me to go somewhere where I could not only get an education, but learn, you know, to take care of myself and make my own friends and, you, you know, figure things out and, and make those connections, which is what I did at IUP. And it gave me, it, it just gave me the base, the education, the, the, the confidence, meeting the friends that I made there and seeing them take risks and, and see what they were doing gave me the confidence to do that in my life. What it got you interested in doing graphic design? Gosh, you know, that's a great question. I've always loved art. And when I was little, I would, I would paint on rocks and uh, fungus and all kinds of weird things. But um, Andy Warhol was uh, an idol of mine. He's a Pittsburgher. Mm -hmm. And there was just something about graphics that I gravitated towards. And so um, I always thought that I was going to work at an ad agency and it just, uh, I didn't even know about graphic design for films. And that's why I said when it prepared me, it's not that it, you know, no career is at least, you know, mostly, mm -hmm. it's not so linear where it's a straight line. So I had that base in graphics and, and art, and I was able to move through my life. And when this opportunity came up, I was ready for it. It does kind of it put in mind the quote, although it's not not a positive quote. The first plans never survive first contact. So I guess first contact with life it kind of it, it kind of puts you on this path towards movie graphic arts rather than the commercial world. Well, you know, it was back in the time that they were filming a lot in Pittsburgh, mm -hmm. doing a lot of movies in Pittsburgh in the in the early nineties, and. I had graduated from IUP and started my own little graphic design business. I was doing things for local businesses, manual reports, ads, things like that. And I happened to be working, doing a photo shoot for a product when one of the local photographers said, hey, why don't you get in front of the camera? So I did that. I ended up working as a model at Doherty Casting. And then um, I got little bit parts in movies. And that led to going out to LA and then working um, in as a production assistant. And I said, I, I see what you're doing there. I can do that. Because at that time, they didn't have in-house graphic designers. Ah, okay. They would farm those out to other companies. And that, that gave a disconnect, though. They didn't have the designers, the production designers didn't have the control of making changes last minute. They were kind of stuck with what they got. And when I said, hey, I can do that. I have, I was trained to do that. Give me a shot. And then, um, and then it rolled into, I was, I was in the uh, department more often. And now I'm on, you know, four months before a movie starts to the very last day, designing the process for all the different departments within the movie, not just the art department, 
picture cars, props, set deck, visual effects, video playback. So it what? just kind of grew. Yeah. I, you know, it grew and I grew with it. And it's not like I set out to, I didn't even know there was graphic design for movies. People today don't even know. Well, that's Which one is of the, why they should come to my talk. <laughs> yeah, I was about to segue into that. Uh, so you are part of the first annual uh, Slank Fest, of course, uh, a tribute to Robert Slanker, IEP's first graphic design professor. Uh, did mm -hmm. First off, did you ever have classes under him? Oh, yeah, I so, sure did. Talk uh, about uh, Mr. Yes, Slank then. Talk about Mr. Slanker. Bob Slanker. He was a larger-than-life person. And he really, he, he, he allowed us the lane to do, to do us, you know, to, to be ourselves, to bring, to think outside of the box. I, I think a lot of times people think graphic design and you're just on a computer. And I do work on a computer 99.9% .9 of the time. But back then, that was before computers came in. Mm -hmm. So I'm really fortunate in that way because I, I think I think differently. I don't think so um, two-dimensional. I think three-dimensional. And he, in his graphic design program, it was varied. We used rapidographs. We, we taught Ruby lifts. You know, we taught not only the process, but how to get there, the foundation of what is design. And that's what really prepared me for problem solving. And mm -hmm. he, you know, he was, he was very hands-on and um, collaborative with us and very supportive. So obviously a lot of great memories of him. So coming back to take part in this, uh, what they're calling Slank Fest, it's going to be a great opportunity then for you to pay tribute to him, not just through uh, the work that you're doing, but also kind of guiding students like he did. It sure is. You know, I'm really excited to be able to share with everyone what I do, but not only that, but to say, I was you. I was sitting in that chair wondering you know, what's going to be in my life. And, um, and you can be anything you want to be, you know, if you have those, the foundation and the confidence and confidence isn't always knowing everything. Mm -hmm. I start movies and I think, how in the heck am I going to pull this off? How am I, how do I know, you know, how to design something for the future? But you figure it out. You have the confidence that you're going to do it and you're going to research it and, um, that's what I'm anxious to, not anxious, I'm excited to give back to the students to say, you know, the only barriers that you put up are the ones that you impose upon yourself. You can, you can do anything you want. Just take that first step. Susan, let's talk about the talk that you're going to give on April 11th. Uh, that's from IUP to the MCU, The Secret World of Graphic Design for Filmmaking. I know we touched on a lot of the topics uh, probably already in this interview, but what else can people expect whenever they come to this uh, on Thursday over at Sprouse Hall? I think that they're going to have their eyes opened to what what all goes into filmmaking. Mm -hmm. That you and if I do my, my job well, you really don't notice what I do because I design things that make the real that make whatever world that we're showing in the movie feel real mm -hmm. whether it's you know another world or 1830 um, so if you don't notice my work I did a good job because you've accepted that it's real I do design you know really great uh, like the pen tech logo things that you know you that are in your face but 80 percent of the time my stuff is the quote unquote blurry stuff in the background. Mm -hmm. But they're gonna learn about design and how it's not just signage, it's it's patterns, it's carpet, it's wallpaper, it's displays that you see inside ships. Um, they're gonna you know they're gonna learn the richness of filmmaking. But they should also come because we're gonna raffle off some movie swag that is only given to people that work on films. Wow. I did, I, I did notice that. I did notice one of those <laughs> items, a Guardians of the Galaxy director's chair. Well, we're not doing that. Oh. I, I switched that to, well, something better. I, uh, at, at the end of each show, the directors and producers and the actors will have me design a T-shirt, a hat, something to give to the crew as a thank you. Oh, okay. And it, and it usually says crew, film crew, and a year on it. And you can't buy that anywhere. 
It's only for that show. And I have extras from some of those movies that I'm going to be raffling off. Oh, that so is that is people, nice. 